I'm Jenna Neal and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the Fawn Design Circle Bag in color black. It is a pebble leather. I love it though. At first I was kind of a little weird. I tried to do an unpacking video and well it was a mess so I'm redoing. But I've had the opportunity to use the bag and I'm absolutely obsessed. I recently purchased the Brown 2.0 for their Unblack Friday sale that's going on this week and super excited. I was hesitant about this when it first came out because it's a circle, it's kind of weird. You can see how it doesn't open all of the way. So it just is, it looks to me like an old hat bag or a makeup bag. I thought if I really didn't like it, I could take these off and then just stick it in like a suitcase kind of thing. But I actually really like it to my surprise. So you can kind of see the size right here. So it's just the size of my hand. I am a huge overpacker. So this has been an adjustment for me. Super excited to share this with you. The outside, of course, is that pebble leather, but they also have two zippers. That's not a common feature for the Fawn design, so super excited that there's two of them. I love their hardware all the time. They always have the nicest hardware. The claw, I think, is what gets me because it's easy. So we have two straps, sides, and then the buckle right here. So two buckles, one on each side to help even it out as you wear it. So the base of the bag is here and then the zip part is here. The bottom is just reinforced with the stitching. You can see uh, the line over. If that bothers you, you might not like this. There are no feet. It's just a plain circle. One side is plain plain and the other side is plain with the gold logo at the bottom. There are no buttons. Uh, there is no pocket on this one. But the 2.0 version is supposed to have a pocket on the back. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I, I do like the plain, but I thought I'd give it a try. So let's open it up. So it's pretty easy. Just unzip it and it pulls out like that. Wow. Ah. So I love this about it because I can leave it just sitting on my shoulder or my side and it just sits open and it's not designed to completely topple all the way open so I can have it open when I'm looking for something at the store and I've been working between different wallets I am a little bit disappointed because the new wallet so if you're buying this now or if you're buying the new wallet the new wallet is a little bit longer so it bumps right here and I'll show you I have the old wallet as well which it fits very, very tight. I've been opting for my Dooney coin purse or clutch. It's kind of like a wallet. Holds a lot, so um, pretty easy to open when I'm just standing there and don't want to touch a lot of things. So let's look at the inside. I'm going to flip the camera around and show you all the goods. Yay! Welcome to all my crazies. So here we have the Fawn Design Circle Bag. And don't mind these, these are my weekly bags. So yes, I do change my bag out every Sunday. So let's get started. All right, here is all of the stuff that I usually carry, minus that I don't have that many wallets. But it obviously won't fit in this circle bag. You can unzip it, um, one zipper on each side. And I have in here this Dooney and Burke coin purse. I think there was a QVC sale where they were selling these with a bag, but I went to the actual store to get it because I wanted this specific color. But I have an assortment of things in there. And it's pretty deep. I love this. I've had this for like 10 years. And it has that nice leather red signature dooney. But it holds all my cards. It's, it works for now. I'm not going crazy on the shopping. So definitely um, something that fits and it works. I did purchase the Azaria slide wallet to try to fit it in here. I'm super excited. I cannot wait to get it. It's on their on Black Friday sale. So I cannot wait because I got black so it matches. We'll see. One thing I really like is this pocket right here and it holds a lot. But I wish they would have done another pocket on this side so I'd have two to hold things in. It's definitely a small packs bag. I probably need to get a smaller keychain or take this off so that my keys don't take a bulk of the pocket. But I'm still using this one 
of course, I always carry some kind of fashion of wet wipes. I always carry my earbud pods and then I have my hand sanitizer in the far back. So we have this cool pocket right here. It's stretchy. It's elastic. I've been using it and filling it to the brim. So I'm surprised it still has its elasticity, but it's like a nylon soft material. And then there's a zipper pocket back here that I usually stick all of my eye things in there. My earbuds or hand sanitizer, I think just popped out. But the cool thing about that is that it zips. So that's there. And then the bottom is just the same as this right here. And then there's no pocket on this side, which I wish there was a pocket on this side. I don't know if the 2.0 has the additional pocket. I do know that the 2.0 version that they're selling right now has a pocket right here, but I'm not sure how it would even fit anything in there. So to be honest, I would definitely just repurchase the 1.0 version. So for anyone who has the Fawn Design wallet, so I have the 2.0 wallet, the original wallet, and then I have, I think it's the passport case and I stick an RFID little carry thing in there so I can slide it into others. But this one has the standard card slots, money, room for cash or your passport if you need. So there's that. It's smaller than both of them. So there's the gray one and I'll show you what it looks like in the bag. And then you can kind of see what I mentioned earlier, both wallets, they're the same, but you can see just that extra space doesn't fit in this purse. And I, a good thing I have the black, but I really like this wallet and I wanted to use it. It fits, I guess, but it's, it's tight. So I'll show you first. Let's do this one. So this one goes easily inside, but it can also go back here in there. I love that it fits there. And then you have your room to put whatever you need in here and then you can grab this out. I don't like that this doesn't hold very much. So if you're not a overpacker like me and have a lot of cards or stuff, it would work really well for you, but it's small and thin and concise. This is the original 1.0 wallet. So see how it fits pretty good in there. And I have room, it flops around, I can zip it. So if I zip it, it still looks like a circle bag. It works. Everything on it works. I love it. When I'm carrying more than just a few things, I opt for this. Or if I'm using, moving from one bag to the other, I would definitely use this one versus the Dooney and Burke clutch. And because it matches. Alright, so this is the newest wallet that they have. They they revamped it. The fit inside here though. It's a little bit bigger, so it fits, if you can see that it fits. But it kind of bows a little bit. And when there's more stuff in there, I can't get it out as easily. So it's, it's minute. The difference is very, very small, so it still fits, but when there's a lot of stuff in there, I've gotten it caught right there. So if you do get this wallet, I get it caught a lot when I'm trying to, in a hurry, and all my stuff falls back there, and I'm trying to close it, this always seems to get caught right there. And I'll have to leave it unzipped when I go to the store, and I'll have to leave it slightly like that just to get out of the store and not like fidget, because a lot of stuff is in there. So not my favorite with this bag, but it's, it's just doable if you don't carry a lot of extra stuff with you in there, but see how it, you just have to push it back there and then put all your items here. But it is a beautiful wallet. It has the zipper on the back so I can put my cash or coin. It has a strap and then the inside. So they have the different card pockets and then cash or receipts. And then cash fits really well in there. So, so for the inside, they didn't change the features on the inside. It's just a, t a slight bit longer and it looks bigger, but just the same. Ooh. Two wallets, slightly different. Love them. I love the fact that I'm a huge fan of the matte leather. I love that this is matte leather. So kudos because I probably wouldn't have bought it if it was pebble leather. I definitely would not have. Even though that this bag is pebble leather, I just gravitate to the matte. Love it. So there you have it. Yay, fawn design. Circle bag. Wait, yeah, okay. On the body. So 
I'm not usually a crossbody bag wearer. I usually don't wear them at all, but I love this on the body because it just sit kind of a little bit extension of my hips, but not too bad that I can't move through the cart the crowded aisles and keep my social distancing. So, and I can even put it right in front. So when I go to the store, I can just open it and grab my wallet, pop my wallet open, grab my cards, and we're good to go. And then I just zip it back up and slide it back because I don't like it on the front and we're out. So very convenient and I don't, I'm not carrying a lot of stuff in here because it doesn't actually hold a lot of stuff. I like it a lot. Oh my gosh. I have it on the third setting which I'm surprised it's not a buckle or anything. It's just a push through and then there's additional. So maybe if you wanted to wear it on your shoulder, you could if you brought it up a little bit or you could, if you like it long, you could easily wear it on your shoulder. Uh, definitely love this bag and which is super cool. This, okay, this drives me nuts on so many bags where the, the, straps fly everywhere they added this cool yeah you can see that it's just a tiny piece of leather to hold the strap down so it's not flying around everywhere i love it love it love it love it love it okay Woo! me again okay wait hold on magic magic not really nope okay noob noob hi Black with black in a black bag. Probably can't even see the bag. All right, so yay. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for hanging out with me and discussing the phone design circle bag. This is the 1.0 version. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay. <laughs> okay, does this even work?